It is the largest recall ever. Faulty airbags blamed for over 100 injuries and five deaths. One of those deaths happened here in Central Virginia. On your side, investigator Rachel DePompa first exposed the problem with Takata airbags more than three years ago, long before this week's historic recall making national news. One in four cars on the road right now has these airbags. To find out if your vehicle is one of them, head over to the front of your vehicle, look up your VIN number, which is located right here. You can also often find it on the side of your door. This one happens to be located right here. Now you take that number and you head over to safercars.gov and look up your car. These airbags are deadly. A Henrico family knows that all too well. It was Christmas Eve. Goody Retour and her three kids had just wrapped up their last minute shopping. They were headed to Grandma's house. Driving west on Farmington in her 2001 Honda Accord. Nine-year-old Saj was in the passenger seat, 10-year-old Simron and her three-year-old sister in the back. A mail truck pulled out in front of Retour near the intersection with Condover Road. It was a minor fender bender. There's not much damage to her Honda, but Goody Retour died. The family says her airbag exploded in her face. There's a large laceration to the left side of her neck, um, and it extended into you know the neck to the point that her arteries were severed. Retour bled to death in her Honda in front of her children. In some Hondas, the airbag is deploying with so much force, the steering wheel essentially explodes, sending metal fragments into a driver's face. This is video from a crash test for a 2001 Honda at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in Virginia. When we slow it down, you can see this is how the airbag is supposed to respond. A far cry from what a steering wheel looks like after a defective airbag deploys. Honda agreed to settle with the family for $3 million. Attorneys took a million. Retour's three children will each get $567,000 in a bank account they can access on their 18th birthdays. The family signed a confidentiality agreement and at the advice of attorneys has decided not to speak publicly. In a statement, a Honda spokesperson said, we'd like to express our deepest condolences to the family, and we're glad this matter has been resolved. According to that spokesperson, the Japanese company Takata actually paid the settlement. Takata is a major supplier of airbags and seatbelts worldwide. Honda says a Takata error caused the defective airbags. If you find out your vehicle has these airbags, a dealership will fix it for free. But we are hearing right now that they may not have all the parts they need, so you could be waiting a little while to get these airbags out of your vehicle. For the On Your Side Investigators, Rachel DePompa, NBC 12 News. From deadly airbags that shoot shrapnel in your face to power steering failures that could make you lose control of your car. Dangerous defects led to the recall of millions of vehicles each and every year, and getting word to drivers that their car has a problem isn't always easy. So. How do you know if your vehicle has a fatal flaw? On your side, investigator Rachel DePompa will show us right now. In less than an hour, Rachel found dozens of vehicles on our roads with some serious problems. Can this gets your attention right away. Absolutely. This it wasn't hard to find risky defects. One open recall. Bingo. Airbag. Airbag inflator from 2011. Even under the hood of vehicles in our own NBC 12 parking lot. This one does have an open recall. Open recall. And this is for the Takata airbag as well. Airbags with the potential to explode in an accident. 24 million recalls worldwide. The Takata airbags are linked to six deaths, including this Henrico mother of three. She died in a fender bender when shrapnel from the airbag sliced open her throat in front of her children. This car has four unfixed recalls. Oh my goodness. The Wait. car is a potential time bomb, absolutely. I mean, it's a catastrophe waiting to happen. The longer those recalls are left unfixed. In just five minutes, we checked six vehicles. Half of them were still carrying the deadly airbags. All of the drivers had no idea. Your car has four serious recalls on wow. it. Wow. Yeah. I did not know that. You may not have gotten the notices. You may have gotten them in you know, mistakenly discarded or them. didn't realize it or something. Right. Chris Basso is from Carfax. How serious is this, the recall problem? It's a major issue, especially here in Virginia. Our data shows that there's over a million vehicles 
that have at least one unfixed safety recall. He says one out of every five vehicles in Virginia has an open recall. recall Using a new app that could be the key to your three. family safety. Just by typing in the vehicle's license plate. Basso traveled around with us to several parking lots in Greater yep. Richmond. 2008 Focus. This one's okay too. We plugged in the license plate numbers of random vehicles on our roads. This Altima has one. And instantly found cars with serious flaws. There's a safety issue where your computer pro your computer needs to be reprogrammed uh -huh. so that it's operating properly. Yeah. Are you thankful to know? Just oh yes, definitely, definitely. I, I've got a call now. <laughs> SUVs actually have the highest number of open recalls in the U.S. One out of every three minivans and one out of every five SUVs. That's a serious issue for people that are driving their kids to and from school and soccer practice every day. This Chesterfield mom of three couldn't believe the danger lurking in her minivan. Oh, I've got an open recall. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Well, I've gotten something in the mail, but I wasn't, you know, I, I don't know where to go or what to do. We discovered she has a recall for a potentially dangerous fuel pump leak. Essentially, there's a fire risk with your car. Your fuel pump can leak gas, which could cause a fire. Oh, wow. Okay. So That's definitely a, it's a serious safety issue with this vehicle. Recalls like this are free to fix. You just have to take the time to schedule an appointment with a dealership. I will go there. I will schedule that. I really will. I mean, it's free. I need to do it. It's yep. safe for my car. It's good for my family. The app we use to alert drivers in this instance is called My Car Facts, and I want to show you this is what it looks like on your cell phone. You can even set it up to alert you if there's ever a recall on your car. You can also pull up the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's website and click on Search for Recalls. All of this critical to ensuring a safe ride for your family. For the On Your Side Investigators, Rachel DePompa, NBC12 News.